Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me trying to do a lead code problem. I'm going to try to do a me medium one that I haven't done before. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem. What? Uh, I'm not doing an SQL problem, so I wish there's a way to un like filter those out. Um, but all right, let's do another one. All right, let's do it. 2393, count strictly increasing subway a premium problem sorry for my non-premium fans <clears throat> but uh but let's let's we let's you know visit this problem together and see what we can do um so hit the like button hit the subscribe button join me on discord let me know what you think about this video and this problem and so forth i don't know if i've said that already i'm really tired so today's problem is count strictly increasing subway so the first thing i want to do was see n and n is 10 to the fifth so you can do the n square one um, oh wait, this is strictly in subarray. Okay, I, uh, not gonna lie, half the time I read read this incorrectly, and what I mean by that is that for subarrays I thought I I saw subsequence, and therefore, um, yeah, and therefore I kind of messed this up. But this is like I, I was already thinking about like dynamic programming and n square. I was like, oh, how do you? do it and and you know can it's still an n log n way and then you know think like things like this um and i don't know that there's an easy way to do it with subsequence but maybe let me know if i'm wrong but for supper way it's actually pretty straightforward i think it's just about making sure you know how to count and basically and you can kind of think about it as dynamic programming though maybe i wouldn't necessarily think about it that way um but but Basically, um, but basically, for example, you look at an array like this, or maybe this one even really, maybe is a better example. If you if you see an array like this, then basically you say, okay, how many strictly increasing subarrays are there that ends up here? It's one, right? How many that ends here? Because well, the longest strictly increasing subarray is this here that ends here, right? So that means that there's two, which means that there's because there's two and then one, two, right? And then same for three, you know, and then there's two, three, and then one, two, three. So basically by keeping track of the longest you can go for, the one that ends here will just be that length. So with that in mind, then we can kind of um, just do it. So basically last is equal to, I was gonna choose some negative numbers. I just wanna make sure that's our bound. So last is equal to negative one. Count is equal to zero. The answer though, um, because it can be n square, this actually overflows in some languages. So in Python, I don't have to care, but this is just a caveat. Yeah, making sure that you know you use the right data structure or data type for this because that's a very, you know, uh, uh, very easy mistake to make, and that would be not great. Uh, but yeah. So streak is equal to zero, and then now for x and nums, if x is greater than last, then streak increment by one, um, and then count, we add it by streak. And then else, streak is equal to one, and last is equal to x, right? Um, and then count is added by streak again, so maybe I could just take this out. Um, and then just return count. That's pretty much it, I believe, unless I made a mistake somewhere. Um, and I did. That went off by one. Hmm. Oh. So I guess this also ticks out. Okay. Silly mistake, but cool. Um, yeah. I mean, you could see clearly that this is linear time, constant space. And pretty short code, so yeah. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I think this, like as an interview question, this is, I don't know. I mean, I think for me, a little bit on the easy, I, I don't know. I don't want to say that it's on the easier side, just because um, I think one common mistake or maybe assumption is that you look at the code and it's like, oh, it's 10 lines of code. It's very easy, right? But, you know, the logic that gets you there is kind of not trivial if you haven't done it before. Um, so definitely on a, but if you have done it before, this is kind of pretty fast, so I don't know. I don't know. But, I mean, I would expect people to be familiar with it, but I think these kind of problems are kind of, I don't know, hit or miss in terms of whether, as an interview, 
excuse me, as an interviewer, I would give this poem just because I'm like, eh, like, how likely am I learn about, the, how likely am I able to learn about the candidate from this poem, right? I don't know. Hmm. So yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't have, sorry, I don't have a definitive answer about this one. I could go either way. Maybe that's why. But yeah, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.